Hello, so a few years ago, I had an idea to make some ozone. That was probably four years ago. When I first made a Patreon, I made quite a far-fetched goal at the time to make ozones. Well, the other day, we actually exceeded that goal on Patreon, so now we get to start an ozone project. When I say get to start, I mean, I feel like I'm obliged to start an ozone <laughs> project, for better or worse here. This here is um, some sort of death trap hell machine that I bought from eBay for about $30. And this little transformer here is apparently capable of 15,000 volts. Um, and this ozone tube here is capable of, of creating three grams an hour of ozone. So that's according to eBay, um, you know, Chinese seller. They could really be making up those numbers. For all I know, who's gonna test it? <laughs> the answer to that is actually I'm gonna test it. A lot of the other ozone generators gave uh, quite a smaller number for the amount of ozone they produce per hour. And I don't know whether that's just because this is a bigger tube or because the eBay seller is just exaggerating it just to sell more of his virtually identical product over the other sellers. This project is interesting because I don't generally work with electronics, uh, especially not high voltage. I've never really done it before, so it kind of scares me a little. There's a lot of dangers before we even get to the explosives. So this came in the mail um, fairly recently, and as you've probably seen, the two wires, the red and the blue wire, the, the input for the 240 volts from the wall just end in this frayed cord here. So can't turn it on. So <laughs> the first step is to actually try and solder some sort of plug on the end so I can actually at least plug it in <laughs> and turn it on. I went to my uh, useless cable drawer I'm sure everyone has one of these drawers filled with cables that you think you might need, but probably don't ever. Hoping I will never need this cord again. If not, I'm sure I can just probably buy a replacement for about 30 cents off eBay, so. But hopefully it doesn't power any critical components of uh, anything around the house, because uh, it's getting bloody chopped. Thank you for your sacrifice, cord. So a couple things. I've uh, stripped the wires here and exposed the two wires. I've chosen a plug that doesn't have any earthing, no no ground on it. I don't know whether that's a good thing. I, I just assume that with the with the ground wire or whatever the third wire in here, there's, there's nowhere for it to go. So I, I assume this hell machine doesn't have any capacity to be grounded or earthed or anything like that. It would make me feel a little bit more comfortable if there was some sort of level of that protection in place, but I guess... You know, that's asking for a bit much for this, um, you know, Chinese circuitry to actually be safe. So, also, the other thing is, I'm assuming polarity doesn't matter just because it's just a simple, just running electric current across a quartz tube, apparently, like, you know, quartz. So, it's probably just standard glass. So, I'm assuming polarity doesn't matter at all, but I could be wrong about that. Alright, so I twisted the wires together, soldered them together, hot glued them, and then put some tape over it. I don't have any electrical tape, so we just had to settle for this tape. Not the most perfect electrical engineering, but definitely good enough. So now uh, this Hell Machine has an input, <laughs> and it might all just blow up because I've done something completely wrong. But um... <laughs> So we've got the Hell Machine over there, and uh, some power flowing through here. If I just uh, get to turn it on for the first time. That's very unconvincing. If we now disconnect it. I mean, it didn't blow up. It appears to work. <laughs> I've been running this for a couple minutes just to see that it's stable. And I gotta say, that tube, boy, it heats up quite a lot. I have a feeling it would be a lot better when I have an airflow actually go through it because that would cool it down a lot. I don't think I really should run this without the airflow going through it for any sort of extended period of time. I don't think it's made for that. Uh, it's just going to get too hot. I, I worry about it all. It'll probably still heat up a whole lot even with the airflow through it. It's probably not really designed for a long-term use. All right, so we have the Hell Machine here. To see whether we actually have any ozone generated, what we can do is we can react it with some iodide solution. Ozone is a power enough oxidizer to produce iodine from the iodide, which is um, a very 
stark colour change and we can make that even more so by using some of our spray starch here so the starch forms a complex with the um the iodine as it's formed and that's very dark in colour so it should give us an easy indication of whether any ozone at all is actually formed out of here and then in later videos we can actually titrate it using this method and determine what is the actual ozone concentration that's coming out of uh, the helm machine Okay, so there's two ways I could kind of operate this ozone generator. The first is having a small air pump, pump air through it and take the oxygen from the air, which is at about 16, 17%, and then convert that into ozone. And that's obviously, that's a good method because it's, it's free, it's actually not using up any reagent. The other method I could do is I could get an oxygen cylinder and then run pure oxygen through it. It will generate a lot more ozone, hopefully, for the amount of time. However, you know, it costs money to run that. Unfortunately, I have um, neither at the moment, but I still want to check if this ozone generator works. So my idea currently, and this is a bad idea, so I'm going to say it slowly, is I'm going to just gently blow through this input tube to get the air flowing. How's that sound? Awful? Yeah, good. That's what I thought too. I'll be, I'll be blowing, I won't be breathing in. <laughs> key, key important bit there. <laughs> She'll be right. So first of all, I just want to blow through and show you that there's no um, colour change when I just use my normal breath, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that could do with some more headroom. <laughs> yep, see, fine. All right, now we get to turn the hell machine on. Like that. Absolutely beautiful. Exactly what I wanted to see. Excellent, excellent. All right. Well, the whole setup works, doesn't it? So now I really want an air pump. Um, I'm going to buy an air pump from China on eBay. You know, something really cheap and nasty. That'll take a couple of weeks to get here. So I'm not going to delay this video while it gets here. Plenty more to do in the next video, especially about titrating it, because I'd be really curious to see if it lives up to its name about being a three gram per hour generator. Um, yes, anyway, that was excellent. I hope you enjoyed this new new reagent we've got. We, we've genuinely you just used some ozone, so I'm, I'm pleased. So anyway, I'll see you next time, and hopefully everyone thinks my wiring for the Hell Machine is all good.